We made a mistake and we owe you all an apology. Hello, this is Billy. We're on Celebrity Edge and you're watching JJ Cruz. Yeah. Yeah. Hey everyone, I'm Jordan. And I'm Jared. And this is JJ, JJ Cruz. Cruz. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today. Today we are addressing some of the elephants in the room. So we have been telling some tales from the sea and some stories that have been quite polarizing. The comments have been hopping. A lot of you have had a lot to say about things that we have experienced on cruise ships. But there's something, there's a common denominator amongst all of these stories. And that happens to be our experiences with celebrity cruises, specifically in their aqua class stateroom category. If you don't know, these aqua class staterooms on celebrity cruises are very unique. You don't find them on other cruise lines. And so when we talk about aqua class staterooms, a lot of people are completely confused. They don't know anything about them. Sometimes even those that have sailed on celebrity cruises still don't even know what aqua class staterooms entail. So in today's cruise tip video, we're going to share with you the misconceptions of aqua class, what people really think aqua class is versus the three main benefits that you get when you sail in an aqua class room. Then we're going to end the video by telling you what we have gotten wrong in terms of our experiences in aqua class and make an apology because maybe we have not always given the best advice on this particular topic. So to get started, we need to talk about what people think aqua class is. And this, like I said, is for every single type of cruiser out there. Those that have sailed on celebrity cruises and those that haven't, there's a common misconception when it comes to aqua class. And that is, it is only for spa people. Everyone thinks that aqua class is all about living in the spa when you're on a cruise ship, that all you do is live in the spa. And that's honestly the smallest part of being in aqua class. People also think that those in aqua class might come across as a little snooty or there's this classism uh, at play within these different levels of experiences on cruise ships. That also couldn't be farther from the truth. Of course, when you step foot on a cruise ship, you're going to encounter all different types of people that have their ideas and their ways that they cruise. But just because you're staying in aqua class does not necessarily mean that you've paid a lot more money than other people on the ship or that you have to have a separate dining room because you don't want to dine with the other people that are in the main dining room section of the ship. Those are the common misconceptions. So let's talk about what is aqua class on celebrity cruises. And what does it entail? First and foremost, it's a veranda, just like any other veranda on the ship. The actual stateroom itself isn't different. It's the same size. You have the same type of veranda. So if you're on the newer ships with the edge class, it's still going to be an infinite veranda like those without aqua class. And on some of the older classes like Millennium and Solstice class, it is still going to be your traditional veranda. However, it's what comes with that veranda that really stands out as the different type of class when it comes to the stateroom. Now, when you stay in an aqua class stateroom on a celebrity cruise ship, there are three main benefits or upgrades that you are going to get to experience. The first is the in-room amenities, and they are actually quite plentiful. From bedding to upgraded towels and robes and slippers, there's lots of little extras that come inside the actual room. But something that we love is the upgraded bathrooms. The upgraded bathrooms include showers with jets and sometimes even rainfall showers that are some of the most luxurious bathrooms on a cruise ship. Now, I'm not saying we love to spend a lot of time in a bathroom on a cruise ship, but the showers in the Aqua Class staterooms are some of the most incredibly comfortable and large showers that you're going to experience not in a suite. Some of the other in-room amenities are regarding that of fitness. If you're really into fitness, they have some upgraded amenities such as picking from a selection of workout or maybe even that of yoga or yoga mats, maybe even just meditation. They even have on-demand videos for fitness gurus that like to work out in their room before they go out on their day or maybe like to end their day with a little bit of a de-stress meditation or relaxation technique. 
lots of extra fitness specific things that honestly we don't do much of, but we know there are some people that really enjoy it. The second upgrade that you get when you stay in an Aqua Class cabin is very spa related. It includes an unlimited pass to a section of the spa called the Persian Garden on the Millennium and Solstice class and the Sea Thermal Suites on the Edge class. Now, this portion of the spa is everything that you need to pamper yourself for the perfect spa day. Included are things such as hot beds, dry saunas, Turkish baths, and the newer ships have more modern rooms like salt rooms and ice rooms if you just want to get a little chilly on your Caribbean vacation. This particular perk is the spa portion that's for spa people. Now, if you don't like everything else that we're talking about in regards to Aqua Class and you're just a spa person, you may want to consider purchasing an unlimited spa pass once you get on the ship because they will have a limited number of those for sale. You also get some added spa discounts for your treatments, or maybe you want to go to the salon, maybe get your nails done. There will be some additional discounts there as well. The third category of upgrades is regarding upgraded dining, which is honestly what we care about the most. <laughs> With Aqua Clash, you get an upgraded dining, exclusive access to Blue Restaurant for both breakfast and dinner. With this restaurant comes very high-end gourmet, clean eating options. And when we say high-end gourmet, it has some of the most delicious food that we have ever had with the best quality of service we've also ever had at sea. The Blue Restaurant Dining Experience proves that Aqua Class is also for foodies. This is some of the best food that we've ever eaten on a cruise ship. And whenever we have the opportunity to cruise in Aqua Class, we specifically do it so that we can dine in blue. Like Jared said, it is world-class service, it is incredible food, and it is clean eating. So it's a way to cruise and be able to eat healthy. We get the question all the time, how do we cruise constantly and not just gain a ton of weight? It's because we always choose healthy options, especially when we eat in blue. An added bonus for the dining portion is upgraded room service to include some healthier options for those in Aqua Class. So not something huge, but just another added bonus for some healthier options when you're eating inside your room. Now, out of about the 13 Aqua Class experiences that we have had, most of them have been on the Millennium and Solstice Class. We love the older ships, blue restaurants. We feel like the floor to ceiling windows are stunning. The service has always been incredible and it's always been overall a great experience for us. In contrast, on the Edge Class, we hadn't until recently ever done the actual Aqua Class experience because we have had other opportunities to cruise at different levels with Southern Cruises on the Edge Class and have really enjoyed our dining experiences across the four different options of dining across the fleet. We have always been under the impression that maybe Aqua Class on the Edge Class ships was not something that we needed. We really love the fact that Aqua Class on the smaller ships, the older ships, really provided the top-notch service. But we really love the fact that the dining room itself was a very exclusive place. It was a little bit more intimate. When you go to the newer class of ships, you get that already with the four different restaurants. You know, you have the different types of flair, whether it be American to French cuisine to Italian or maybe Mediterranean. All these different cuisine options already give you a little bit of different atmosphere coming into play with your restaurant experience. So now let's get to where we think we were wrong. We recently went on the Celebrity Edge for 10 nights to celebrate our holiday, and we stayed in Aqua Class for the very first time on an Edge Class ship. If you have talked to either Jared or I, we've always said to you, you don't need Aqua Class when going on the Edge Class. The food is great across the ship. Don't even think about it and don't worry about spending the extra money. Well, now, after we've experienced it on Celebrity Edge, we think we were wrong. We were actually very, very wrong. We had one of the best experiences in an Aqua Class stateroom we have ever had on the edge. The dining team was incredible. The food was amazing. And our upgraded shower in our infinite veranda room 
was my favorite shower I have ever stayed in, I think, in my life. <laughs> At the end of the day, Aqua Class just gives you that added level of luxury and service that you don't get every single day of your life. So when you go on vacation or when you're going to experience something of upgraded travel like we experienced on Celebrity Edge, Aqua Class is worth it and sometimes not always that much of an additional cost. Now, like we said, if you're going just for the spa, there is another option here. But when you want the upgraded level of dining service and food quality and just giving that extra level of luxury and comfort in your room, Aqua Class is worth it on every single ship. And at first we had said only the Millennium Class, only the Solstice Class, and no other class needs it. But now we know the Edge Class is also just as great. Mark our words. We are very sorry if we ever told you to bypass looking at Aqua Class. We would say if you have the opportunity, if what we've said today sounds good, jump at the chance to stay in an Aqua Class stateroom on any of the Millennium Solstice or Edge Class ships. We always try to do it whenever we can and we encourage you to try it as well. Oh, and we almost forgot, currently with Celebrity Cruises, Aqua Class staterooms come with the all-included package. That means you get the classic drink package, the surf Wi-Fi, as well as your gratuities included, which of course, other staterooms you can purchase an add-on to get, but all Aqua Class staterooms automatically come with the all-included pricing, all-included perks, which is fantastic because otherwise you'd have to spend that upgrade on the other staterooms to get those same perks. We have done almost 50 cruises and we both agree that Aqua Class is one of our favorite experiences. If you have questions about Aqua Class or are looking to book an Aqua Class cabin, our email is of course in the description below. We do happen to be travel agents and on this channel, all we talk about is cruising. We give a lot of cruise tips, ship tours, and cruise information. So if you're interested in that, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. It's free to you and it means the world to us. Thank you so much for watching today and until next time, see ya! ya.